Hey YouTube, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to improve your iPhone 4's camera. Now this will also apply to anyone that does have a camera on their iDevice. So most people, whenever they want to take a photo, will just open up the camera app, snap their picture, and they are all done. Uh, well, while this app does offer some cool features, uh, it's not the most feature-packed uh, that is available. So, I'm going to be going over the software ways uh, that you can improve your iPhone 4's camera. So, first, one that a lot of people probably know is Camera Plus. Now, I've already, already kind of tested this out um, in a different video. Uh, I, I love this application. I've used it for a long time now. And um, it's just so easy to do everything. Uh, for instance, and it's got like two sides of the app. So the first side is, you know, taking a picture. So if you go over here in the settings, there's four modes. Normal, which is just, you know, you find a picture or that something you want to take a picture of and you hit the shutter button. But there's also stabilizer, which I really like for especially for low light situations. So my hand is really shaky. Maybe I'm running, maybe you know, I'm just out of breath or something. It's not going to take a picture until I stop there we go and it, it take a it took a really you know good looking picture everything was perfectly stabilized so you're not gonna get a really blurry picture. So next is timer pretty self-explanatory so you can like change uh, the time interval uh, let's put it at five seconds just hit the button maybe you have a tripod or something you get behind and it'll take a picture there you go and last is burst uh, great for you know like sports or anything that's gonna be going by quickly um, so you just hold down the button there you go just takes a bunch of pictures uh, pretty easy um, also if you just go ahead in here you can edit it and there's a whole lot of things you can do uh, you can add you know like filters effects crops adjust it borders a lot of really cool stuff but this isn't an app review just a quick overview next is filmic pro now this is for people that would like to get better uh, like video photography or video I don't know video capabilities I guess you could say so here we go uh, quite a few things going on even right now for instance we've got the autofocus point put it over here the exposure if you put it over there it'll kinda change it because of the light also I really like about this is that you can lock both the exposure and the uh, the focus now you can do this in iOS 5 but I'm on iOS 4.3.3 so great feature also you can set the white balance right here or I think like I think that's lock the white balance the LED light and just keep it on during recording uh, also has pretty easy tutorial right there uh, you can view what you've already done and here in the settings uh, really cool stuff you can do here you can change the resolution if you want like a smaller video file um, so for instance I I don't really care I just want something that's gonna be lo okay looking on YouTube so let's do 480p let's go back to settings uh, you can change the frames per second um, 30 25 24 those are pretty standard um, but you can even go down to like one frames per second which <laughs> I actually kinda try that in you know, it's not for everyone. Um, maybe if you want to do like stop motion kind of, or like a time lapse. I don't know what you want to do with that. Um, but for some people, you might like that. I really like being able to p change the frames per second personally. Also, you can uh, add color bars. Uh, I'll show you that uh, over here at Slate. Um, this is basically where uh, you can like add a name, a scene, take camera, all that different stuff. I'm just going to turn it off because I don't really need it. Also, you can turn on and off the thirds guide, uh, the framing guide, audio meter, reticle, and upload destination. So let's just, yeah, I'm kind of going through this pretty quickly. Um, so let's just record. And here we go. So I'm recording right now. As you can see, it's going to tell me how many, uh, or how much audio is going into it, kind of. Uh, and also, it's this isn't full screen because it is going in 480p. So let's go ahead and stop the recording. It's going to process it for a little bit. And let's put this on the table. Keep moving out of frame. All right, now it's done. We can go over here. And it is going to be this one, I believe. Tell us how big the file is, which I really like. And then there it is. Yeah, really cool app. Uh, I really like it. 
So those are the software versions of fixing this. Uh, actually, the third version um, is actually getting the glyph. Uh, you can find the glyph at theglyph.com. Basically, this is an iPhone stand as well as a tripod. Uh, this is a really cool way. Uh, now, I don't have one. I'm actually giving away one really soon, so stay tuned to my channel. You might even want to subscribe uh, just so you get the latest news on that. But yes, I will be giving away one of these. You can find a link in the description to see what this does. So basically, you can just like put it on your iPhone. It acts like as a stand and a tripod. Uh, a tripod mount. Now the fourth way isn't either software or hardware. Uh, it's basically what you do. Um, practice makes perfect and that is especially with photography. Don't just steal pictures. If you just keep working at it and getting better and learning all that stuff, uh, you can you know make really co cool pictures using your iPhone. Um, there's certainly a whole lot to learn, you know, from the ISO levels to your aperture to, you know, frames per second, all that stuff. Quite a few things to learn. But with an iPhone 4, you can use it as a point and shoot, or you can, you know, using these apps I showed you, uh, you know, go a little bit more advanced. That's, you know, the beauty of the iPhone 4, at least the cameras. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Also, you should probably go follow me on Twitter uh, if you want to learn about, you know, the glyph. Uh, you should follow me on Twitter because I'll be, you know, talking about it. Um, but I guess that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.